My name is Jordan Sigworth, and I co-directed and co-camera operated with Jack. I'm Jack Jordan. I co-directed, co-filmed, edited, and acted in this film. My name is Jackson McCarowitz, and I did audio and then some of the scoring along with one of my friends. My name is Anna Cangelosi, and I assisted wherever it was necessary, and I also did lighting and slating. So I had this idea a couple weeks before the competition, before the prompt came out. Uh, I watched a movie. We all really like this movie called Last Night in Soho, and we like the whole 60s kind of idea. I was thinking ahead about this uh, competition, and so I kind of put two and two together before we had the prompt, and then once we had the prompt, it took us like a week and a half of planning. We like stylized our film to kind of look like it was inspired by the movie and the music was also inspired by a song from the movie called You're My World. So the example I was given for the scoring was uh, Scylla Black's You're My World and a lot of the film was uh, inspired by another film called Last Night in Soho. We took some of the kind of musical principles of it so I was given that song and then a few others. Originally the idea is we wanted to just rip You're My World and kind of change a few things around. I took some of Nancy Sinatra's Bang Bang, the idea behind it where it's the tremolo on the guitar, really spooky feeling, and I changed it to a double minor. When I, when I played back the, what we had recorded on the violin, um, you know, the first take, it was pretty good. Um, there was a lot of things that we could fix. And then with the second take, you know, like right after I played it, I looked at Jackson and we both were kind of like, oh, th this is the one, this is the one. It was a lot of fun to do. Like finally after sending 30 different things, everyone was like, oh, this one's good. And I was like, thank God, I'm so tired of making different songs. Well, the most memorable experience when we were filming was Jack forgot the rose. I had to go up to a random couple. I saw that they had roses and they were like crying together and they were like hugging. So I was like, okay, probably something sweet happened. But I went up to them and I asked them for a rose and they said no. And it was really awkward to get rejected like that in front of them. Something memorable that happened, as soon as I got off work, I got the notification that our male actor wasn't going to be present. And I was kind of like, oh, well, I'm in a suit. I hate acting, but, you know, I guess I, like, I'll just do this, try as best as I can to do like the role, um, and it worked out. My name is Sam Eid, and I was the dead body in the film. We had to shoot that scene like four days in a row because the lighting always got messed up and then actually the shot we used, we just propped the camera up inside the trunk. So we all kind of got in the trunk for no reason. So with the car, I was in the trunk and I was kind of laying there. They had flowers on me, they had a bat and they would open the trunk and they would just kind of drag me out and yeah, it was just in the film. Something I learned I think is just that you have to make, make it happen because Everything that can go wrong will probably go wrong. We shot one day in downtown Alpharetta and um, the car stalled like four times on the way to downtown Alpharetta. And my dad called me and he said, I don't know if we're gonna be able to start the car again. I learned that we should never settle and we went back multiple days to get the perfect shots and it ended up working out great. It's always possible to make it happen. Even if it doesn't look exactly like what you wanted, it can still you know, win first place, so that's pretty cool. I couldn't really believe it. Like, I talked to my mom, and she was, like, ecstatic, and I was texting you guys, and it was, like, it was just so crazy. I couldn't believe that it was, like, our film, and I had to take a walk around the cul-de-sac to, like, cool down. To be honest, when I first saw it, I was really confused because I just come out of the gym, and I was like, why did Beaconer text me? I looked down, and he was like, you won, and I was like, what? I, okay, this is really funny. I didn't know the name of the actual film, so I saw it and I was confused. And then like it hit me, and I was like, "Holy cow! We just like we just did that." You know, this is the first time Centennial has ever won. And then I was like, "Wow, that's even crazier." And it still kind of hasn't set all the way in, but it's really, really cool.